Carlos Otávio, mais uma vez da South by Southwest, yeah. o nosso amigo Punk, da banda Fase, tocou yes. ontem, toca hoje aqui também em South by Southwest, e é um prazer estar aqui com eles, a gente vai fazer uma entrevista para o pessoal inteiro da banda. Muito nice to meet you, thank you for the interview. How Fase started? How do you start your career? How do you start playing? Almost 15 years ago. Like you said, 15 years ago, they started out as just a, you know, a group of young bands playing garage music. And through this process, they discovered their interest and gradually became yeah. How important is for you to be here in South By? Because you are already a band very well known in China. How important is to be here? Because we want to people hear the sound from the East. Because uh, maybe maybe the Chinese rock and roll is uh, so misery for the rest of the world. Yeah, that's why we're here. Tell us about your latest album, Fucking History. Explore themes like of water, birth, and cycles of life. That's important for everybody. Why do you choose those themes for those albums? Uh, for, uh, for the story, it's actually in the pandemic, and maybe... When he said um, the album was created during the pandemic, because through the pandemic, all the band members had been through a lot of things in life. So did many people, you know, in China. So they, um, it's kind of like a reflection of the experience. At the same time, they were trying to be more experimental with their music, musically. So the combination became this album. They're from the central east of China. The specific geography influenced the music. So. Um, they visited the Qinghai province, so the scenery, the mountain and stuff are inspired as music. Yes. Yes, yes. How is to be a band in China? For a new band, there are a lot of places to play. How is to start a band in China? So he has seen a lot of, the, the whole band has seen a lot of bands and music playing during South by and they are really getting inspired by it. In China, the vibe is a kind of different because here they see a lot of music that they you know they vibe with. But in China people are more into more catchy or you know pop kind of music. It is because maybe guessing maybe the way people are living with a lot of stress, so you know, music can be consumed in a different way. Or music that the Eastern music is specifically from China is disconnected from the Western yes. world. Yes. And it really makes it a great opportunity to come here to see but also more Chinese bands should come out and see and get inspired. How is the scene there in China? There's a lot of places for the bands play. So in China, there are actually, it's been, you know, getting better and better over the years. It's improving, especially the infrastructure. You know, there are a lot of music venues, the equipment and all this type of thing is really great. But what is lacking is the opportunity to connect with music, musicians from all over the world. Is it possible for a band from Brazil, for instance, to go and play in China? Do you think it was going to be well received there? Why not? You know, people would appreciate it. Right now, there have been some Brazilian artists and bands visited in China and it's very well received, although they're like indie artists. Also, he is very interested in going to visit South America. But right now, the problem is the physical distance. I want to ask you about the language. Because we know a lot of people speak Chinese and have different languages, not only one language. But do you think to record songs in English? Or do you yes. prefer to, to stay in Chinese? Yes, yes. Uh, that's, a, that's a point that's important for us. Okay. Yes, I, I agree. We need to, to learn English, uh, maybe, maybe more. Language. So he totally agree that the language is a kind of barrier, but they're very into the idea of improving their English so the music can be more accessible. You know, to uh, actually, in China, most young people uh, talk English. And, uh, what are your projects for this year? Is to play more outside China or focus on new music? We want to record a new album, maybe in summer, and uh, then we have a China tour. And uh, maybe. 
I, I don't know, because we watch Europe, but I'm not sure. When we listen to your songs from the very first time, everybody related with post-punk. Do you agree with that definition? Spiritually, musically, post-punk is like the core and so However, yes. you know, because that's the inside, the outside is open to, you know, to mixing with other genres, including psychedelic rock or other yes. music. What is important for people to understand and to know about Fazi and to have a message for our audience in Brazil about what is important for you as a band? It's about life, uh, living the life, being alive. You know, there are a lot of negative things, depressing things in life, but in general, their music is spreading a positive message, and the music is about the being alive. Thanks so much. Thank you. We want to uh, Brazil maybe in future. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.